this question, we're told that the modulus of rigidity of a metal bar is given by g is equal to r to the power of 4 times theta over l, where l is the length of the bar, r is its radius, and theta is the angle of the twist. And you're asked to determine the approximate percentage change in g when r is increased by 2%, theta is decreased by 3%, and l is increased by 2%. So we're told that the modulus of rigidity g is equal to r to the power of 4 times theta over l. And we could rewrite this as r to the power of 4 times theta times l to the power of minus 1. So in other words, g depends on the radius, the angle of the twist and the length of the bar. And we could write that the approximate change in g as these three variables change is given as the rate of change of g with respect to the radius times the small change in the radius, plus the rate of change of g with respect to theta times the small change in theta, plus the rate of change of g with respect to the length times the small change in the length. So if we differentiate g with respect to r, keeping l and theta constant, we just differentiate r to the power of 4, which is 4 times r to the power of 3. So the g dr is equal to 4 times r to the power of 3 times theta over l. If we differentiate g with respect to theta, keeping r and l constant, we just get r to the power of 4 over l. And if we differentiate g with respect to l, keeping theta and r constant, we just get, um, we differentiate l to the power of minus 1, which will give us minus l to the power of minus 2, which is 1 over l squared. So the g d theta, or sorry, the g d l is equal to minus r to the power of 4 times theta, over l squared. Now we're told in the question that r increases by 2%, so the small change in r is going to be 2 over 100 times r. We're told that theta decreases by 3%, so the small change in theta will be minus 3 over 100 times theta, and that the length increases by 2%, so the small change in the length will be plus 2 over 100 times l. So therefore the r is plus 0.02 times r, the theta is equal to minus 0.03 times theta, and the L is equal to plus 0 0.02 times L. So if we take these values for the small changes, and if we take the expressions for the partial derivatives and substitute them into the original equation for the overall change in the modulus of rigidity, we get the following expression. And if we multiply the terms out, we get the following. And if we add up the terms, we get that the overall approximate change in g is 0.03 times r to the power of 4 times theta over l. But r to the power of 4 times theta over l is in fact g, the modulus of rigidity. So the overall change is plus 0.03 times g, which represents an increase of 3%.